My name is Robert, I'm a web developer with Web Developer Ninja, and today I want to talk with you about web scraping. Now, web scraping is a method of extracting data from a website, and it's not extracting data using, the, using a back-end database, it's actually scraping the front-end HTML off of the website and organizing the data. Now normally this is a process that requires a high level of programming knowledge in a language like Python or JavaScript, but there's an app called CloudScrape that allows you to use a graphical user interface, meaning you click and build a web scraper. And it is super easy to use and we are going to show, uh, we're going to show you how um, to scrape data off a website that we actually recently created. We're going to scrape that data and in the next video we're going to use that output of the scraped data to upload to a WooCommerce store. So let's get started and jump to the computer. Alright, first thing we're going to do is get the URL of the website page that we want to scrape. And we are going to click New Robot and enter the URL into the URL box. And we've got two options here, scraper or crawler, and what we're going to do is a scraper, which is more precise than a crawler. So now it's loading and it's doing its thing and setting up the uh, web scraper. And the first, first step that you do is um, page iteration. So you, we're going to do a click element on the page iteration and click iterate pages. And it's going to know that we have to iterate um, two times or how, however many times uh, that is needed. It's dynamic. So now we're going to select all of the elements inside of um, these divs. So these would be the thumbnail images. And we are going to ex uh, click each element to go inside of the uh, product. And now we're going to scroll down and we're going to grab the image. So we're going to click the image and extract image and give it a field name of thumbnail. And now we're going to extract a little bit more information from the website. So we are going to get the product name, the product engine type, the height of cut. And we're going to come down and we're going to grab the description. And now we're going to go click extract each element. And now we are going to fill in the names in order of the elements that we extracted. So the first name was product name and the second one was engine. We'll just name it engine. And then height of cut. And then the last one would be the description. So now we have these, the elements that we want to scrape, to find. We're going to go back to page iteration and we're going to edit it and we are going to add a CSS selector last for a with the class of next selector last and the max pages we'll just go, let's go ahead and set that to two because we've got two so now we're going to save this robot and the robot was successfully updated we're going to come back and we're going to go to projects and then we'll click our robot and we're going to add a run so what a run is is a uh, it's it's a run of the scraper and it saves the data from that run. So now we're going to go to executions and we are going to execute our scraper. So now the scraper is running and um, right now it's running real time and every time we click we are grabbing the results that were scraped. So right now we've got one element in there. There's our one element. And we're going to wait while this scraper runs. And so it's running in the background. Keep going. Now we're going to do it again. Now we've got four elements. And this is our test mode. So once we go into production with this scraper, it's much, much faster. Um, they, they, I think they throttle it in the um, when you're just, just playing around and building your scraper. So now we're going to hit reload again, reload results. Now we're up to eight. In each one, as you can see, we've got columns of thumbnail, product name, engine, and we're getting all the information from the site. So now we're at 10. And this is great. Say, say you've got 1,000 products, 2,000 products. The same technique works. And with being able to, we're going to be able to output this data into pretty much any format we want. 
it's either XML, CIA, uh, JSON. I mean, it's everything. Everything. So we're we're gonna go with XML because WooCommerce. It's a little. I like working with XML a little better with WooCommerce. It seems to be easy. It's just preference. So we're gonna open it up and just make sure we're in. We have our CSS file, our uh, uh, XML file, and it looks what could we do. And now we're gonna download the images. And all we can do that is come down and download attachments, and we get a zipped folder of all of the images. And let's double click in there, make sure we got our images, and we did. So that's really how we do a scrape for CloudScrape. The next step is going into WooCommerce and taking this data and building our store.